Hello, everybody. I am having, I would say, technical issues. I am having like hardware issues, software issues, issues today. But let me like take control, be in charge of small people. I, it's probably not safe today. <laughs> Hi, how are you? This is how I am today. Uh, this is like the fourth attempt, and I keep messing up or like my phone kept disconnecting when I tried to upload the try to get the last one off the phone <sighs> anyway hi I've got some finished items to show you um here's the first one these are the ridgeline gloves that I got the yarn and the pattern for that I showed you last time this is signet boho spirit in I can't remember the number. It's Foho, F-O-H-O. I think there's only about six or so colours. Eight, maybe. Um, but yeah, so this pattern is frayed knot, I think. I'll link it. I've linked it in previous videos as well, but I'll, I'll link it again. Uh, nice, um, easy pattern to follow uh, when you follow it right. This is the first glove I did. Did it first time perfect, not a problem. This one... I made two short, so I ripped out single ply yarn. That was fun. And then I made it too long. So I ripped out single ply yarn again. But I will say it, it held up fine. It didn't break at all, despite my stupidity. Um, <laughs> honestly, I kind of kicked myself. I was like, can I live with it too short? Mm. I'm like, you might as well make do it right. Ripped it out, and then I was like, how did I do it too long? Uh -huh. So yeah, they're the right length now. <laughs> I've been having difficulties that day as well with brain function. So it's very pretty. I don't normally, you know, that is not normally my kind of colour, but I really like it. So, and they're for me, for me. Now, the beast is finished. It's a so if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I had this pinned out yesterday as far as my floor space and blocking mats would allow. So this is the Rings of Change Blanket by Franco Randall. And I've gone up to row 58, I think. Um, I want it, it's, I, could, <laughs> I can't stretch it. It's 56 inches across around circumference thing. I don't know. In a circle, <laughs> it's 56 inches across it. Um, it's 146 centimetres, so almost as tall as me. I'm about 152 centimetres, about five foot, five foot one if I'm, you know, standing up a lot. So it's big for a blanket. Five foot is not big for a person. But it's so pretty. Now this is um, Ice Magic Light. Uh, I believe it's just called a brown camel beige grey. Catchy. But um, this is, I had this and I actually ordered some from Ice a while ago, a couple of years ago. And then this lot I ordered from eBay, but it's still through Yarn Paradise or Ice or whatever. So I believe I paid... Six pound ninety for the four balls, or six forty nine something, and then about three fifty postage. So it was just over ten pounds for the the five ball, four balls, four balls. Um, I'm about halfway through the third, um, and then obviously I'm alternating every two rows with the cream cone of mystery. Yeah, don't know what it is. Um. Again, this is the I use this cream in my niece's blanket. It's beautiful to work with. It washes lovely. It's great. I've no idea what it is. It can't be acrylic. It just doesn't. Doesn't feel like acrylic. I'd expect it to be stiffer if it was a cotton. I don't know. Lovely though. All I know is it's Arctic oatmeal colourway. Um, it's nice. So. Where was the last time? Was I about to start the crocodile stitches? 
I'll give you a quick, I'll go from the middle uh, and show you. It's so lovely. It's, it goes like star shapes and we've got trebles, I'm trying to get my fingers through, trebles and double clusters there. And you've got some like front post um, double crochet so they stick out. Should all be pushed out, but no matter how much I try and push them all out, they disappear again. So there's texture there, and what's after that? Just more doors, I think. And then there's a cross stitch here, that one in front of the other. That's really nice. There's chains, uh, inverted V's, and like these fan stitches. I love these. Uh, more trebles here, or oh. what are they in English terms? I don't know the trebles in US, so is it like triple trebles or something like that? Um, this is this here, these circles is kind of where I finish my niece's blanket. So I've not gone like a million miles further, but yarn wise, yeah, a lot further. These, um a nice bit where the colour shows. So here, where you do in the back stitches, so it makes it stick out. So it's like it textures it there and here. Beautiful. Uh, and then into the crocodile stitches, which once I've sort of got into, they were fine, nice and easy. They ate a lot of yarn. Um, so it's like ten. 10 double crochets all in there and you're doing 75 petals for four rows round so it, yeah it got through it and then this I keep finding different favorite parts of this blanket let me find a darker so I edged it in the eyes let's see if I can get it to focus look at my pretty star stitches aren't they beautiful I love the star stitch. I've not done it before I did the last stripy baby blanket and they were in there. Now it does, it tells you how to do it in here, but I reverted back to the stripy blankets uh, picture tutorial just to remind myself because it's so clever. Um, for those of you who haven't done it before, you, this is worked in two rows. So you do sort of a, I think it's about six stitches all in one. To make this bottom part to make this curve here and then your second row you just put two half double crochets in the eye of the star and it makes that stitch so pretty so clever i love things like that where it's who figured that out who did so pretty so good so yes that's at the minute that's my favorite part of the blanket to start stitches um i ended up doing three rows of cream here everything else is two rows of each but you can't i didn't want to change the color for the stars because it would look wrong uh, if it weren't on the same color so and then i've just done the the next this row was a, a single crochet row and then it goes off into more fan focus camera yeah it goes off into more fan uh, stitches and i thought it, it's big enough and yeah, it's it's a nice size. It's a big, you know. I think it's big enough. I don't want to get it too big so that it's, you know, cumbersome for the recipient and annoying for me <laughs> to do. Um, the last row was six hundred and seventy six stitches, um, and this row, but here is six hundred and seventy six as well, and then three hundred and thirty eight star stitches so it's lovely i need to weigh it to see how much yarn i use i think i used about 250 grams maybe more 260 or something of the ice yarn uh, probably about the same obviously it's hard to tell because i used more of the cream for the the last few rows but it's probably going to be getting on for about 600 grams so doesn't feel that mega heavy, but it's a good size blanket. I am so 
happy with it. I love it. Don't want to give it away. <laughs> but I know it will be, you know, uh, happily received. Um, and I can't wait for her to see it. It's, I want Christmas to be here so I can give it to her and see what she thinks. But I have a lot more things to make before then. So I haven't brought any works in progress down because oh, I can have three unicorns that I've already done before. Uh, let's look at craft fair stuff and the three unicorns. One is in order for Christmas and two are for parties that Jack's going to two weekends in a row. One on a Saturday, one on a Sunday and then we've got an invite for the Saturday of the weekend. We're going to a party on Sunday. So I will be mainly at kids play areas for the weekends in November. So I need to make a present for that. And Christmas presents and stuff. I'm still working on my dad's blanket, which is in the car and big. And I'm about five and a half balls into into it. I think I've done. I think I started with two balls of each colour, and then I did an extra ball of each colour of the brown and the beige. Um, I'm just gonna go till I run out of wool because we use it as a lap blanket if nothing else. But it's about. I think we're heading for about thirty-five inches. Um, square when I last had it out and I've been working on it at work when the system went down a couple of weeks ago and stuff like that so it's it will be a good size um, yeah and then a few little bits of presents but I'm quite glad I got this out of the way now because what are we October 10th so sorry I just realized I've got to go to school soon <laughs> oh look at the time um yeah, so, you know, it's I'm really happy that's done. Dad's is nearly done. I've got something to make for my friend out of the boho spirit. I will start soonish. Um, she's a very forgiving friend that will be okay if it comes after Christmas, because last year's present came after Christmas. Uh, and then all the toys, all the toys. Excuse me, I got asked to make elves. I have nightmares about making elves. So it's up there with woolly spider, you know, with legs that need pipe cleaners. And... Oh. Um, I have got to pick some Christmas-ish products to make. But to be honest, with the craft fair, I'm going to make sure I've got lots of little things like I had for the um, summer craft fair. Because they're always handy as presents if they don't sell. and yeah, I don't want to make too many big things. I might, if I'm feeling like it, make an extra, I was going to say octopus, unicorn to take to the fair. But, um, you know, people don't want to pay for the bigger things. So I think, why well, slug my guts out to make them and then sell them at a loss? Not at a loss, but sell them cheaper than I want just to get rid of them. It's like, no, just, no. Right. I'm going to go because I'm going to get my shoes on. I'm going to take the car around to school because they've been tipping it down and I'm going to take the boys straight to the barbers because they've gone from... I got the heck up before they went back to school, so around the August bank holiday, end of August. And it's lasted really well. I had a number one at the back, took a dead shot. Um, and the boys' hair is fine, fine, fine. <laughs> like, within a day, mine does it. Like, if I was okay, it's okay, it's okay. Mwah. And it's overgrown, but the, the boy's hair doesn't seem to grow, you know, down or, or get long so it falls back. It just, like, puffs out. Um, so Paul did that, uh, put them in the shower yesterday, and then blow-dried Tobin's hair, and it was like this massive ball of fluff. <laughs> it was really cute, but massive. Um, yeah, I should go. So I hope everybody is okay. Um, I'll try and get this video up today. Um, well, 40 minutes, let's see if I can get it off my phone if the cord will, you know, cable will behave itself. But my normal cable has gone, and so Paul will be getting a what have you done with it later. What's he done with it? Why's he took my cable? Why? <laughs> right, I hope you're all alright. I hope everyone survived the storms in the States, okay? Um, I hope everybody. Um, was affected in Haiti 
is, is okay. You know, seems to be slightly underrepresented in the news. But. No time for soapboxing. Get off it. Um, new jumper. I went to Paul's factory sale and got new jumpers. So you might not see me in the same four jumpers all the time. You might do if I don't like all these new ones. I like this, but it seems to sit funny there. Sorry. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. Bye.